All right. Okay. Today we are back with another Pentatonix reaction video. It's been a very long time, Jude. Yeah, I uh, I almost forget the makeup of Pentatonix. It's been so long. Yeah. Um. So we have five members in the group, right? Yes. We have Scott. Scott. We have Kirsten. Kirsten. We have Mitch. Mitch. The good old Mitch slap every yeah. now and then. We have Avi. Avi. Until he left and was replaced by Matt. Yes. Right? And we have one more. Who's that? That's Kevin. Kevin. We can't forget or, about the beatboxer. Yeah. Kevin Alusola. Yeah. They call him KO. Okay. And we've been KO'd before. We've been KO'd. We've been Mitch slapped. We've been Avi launched. Avi launched. Avi launched. And today, who knows what's about to happen, but we both know and love the song Cheerleader. Oh, yeah. Hey, such a feel good summer anthem. Yeah. And it's ingrained in us, right? Yeah. This song came out when? It says seven years ago. Seven years ago. Um, so we were in our teens in college, in college. Yep. Uh, so this is going to be a good one. Oh yeah. A fun one. So Jared, as we know, uh, pentatonics usually does upgrades. Yes. Right. The people tell us it's not necessarily a cover. It's usually an upgrade. Yeah. So let's see if this one's an upgrade as well. Okay. We are going to start though, by looking up Omi the original uh, creator of Cheerleader, and then listen to his version of the song before we jump into Pentatonix. Yes. So let's do that. Okay. On Wikipedia, it says that Omar Samuel Pasley, or Pasley, better known as his stage name, Omi, is a Jamaican singer, and he is best known for Cheerleader, a worldwide hit for him in a remixed version by German DJ Felix Jane, Jean. And that's the version that the whole entire world heard. Yeah. I'm interested how different his original version was from the remix. Now, is Omi what people would call a one hit wonder? Mm. Cheerleader being that one hit? Well, this is obviously his biggest hit. Yeah. But I'm sure he has other songs I haven't heard. No, I've, I've never heard of Omi outside of Cheerleader. Ah, and it says right here... He's currently signed to Ultra Music, a part of Sony Music, and released his debut album, Me For You, in 2015. Okay. So there's other songs out there, but this song, yeah, whew, this is one of those ones that billions of people yes. hear. This is one of those. All right. And just a little more information on the actual song, Cheerleader. It says that the track was written and produced by Omi and Clifton Dillon, Mark Bradford and Ryan Dillon. Omi first began developing the song in 2008 when he created its melody. It was refined over several years alongside famed Jamaican producer Clifton Dillon. It was first recorded with veteran session musicians Sly and Robbie and Dean Frazier. And it was released as a single on independent label Ofa. It says the song saw success in Jamaica where it topped the charts and also attracted airplay in Hawaii and Dubai. Wow. All I, over the world. Yeah, it does sort of have that Jamaican uh, dance hall feel in yeah. a way. But it also has that Hawaiian feel. Ooh, Jordan's and that pop that, influence. Yeah, that worldwide appeal. Yes. You know? Yep. And if you look down further, Jordan, on this Wikipedia page, it says... Cheerleader achieved commercial success in 2015 when it reached number one in 20 countries, Ooh. including the U.S., the U.K., Australia, Canada, France, Mexico, Ireland, Sweden, and Germany. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this, you know, this is one of those songs that lasts forever. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And just above that. It talks a little bit about the remix. It says, Ultra contacted two disc jockeys to produce remix versions of the original song. The label and song's producers preferred one remix produced by a young German DJ, Felix Jane. 
that eschewed much of the song's original instrumentation for a tropical flavored deep house rendition, prominently featuring a trumpet, a conga beat, and piano. A remix extended play was released in May 2015 by Ultra, which began to first see commercial success that fall. Okay. I'm ready to listen to Omi's version. Yeah. I haven't heard this song in a while. No. So let's do that. And then we're going to jump into Pentatonix version, everybody. So sit back and enjoy. Here we go. Solution is my queen, cause she stays strong. Yeah, yeah, she is always in my corner, right there when I wanna. All these other girls are tempting, but I'm empty when you're gone. And they say, Do you need me? Do you think I'm pretty? Do I make you feel like cheating? I'm like, No, not really, cause oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her. Cheerleader, she is always right there when I need her. She walks like a model, she grants my wishes like a genie in a bottle. Yeah, yeah, cause I'm the wizard of love, and I got the magic wand. All these other girls are tempting, but I'm empty when you're gone. And they say, Do you need me? Do you think I'm pretty? Do I make you feel like cheating? I'm like, No, not really. the trumpet yeah man mm, she gives me love and affection baby did i mention you're the only girl for me no i don't need a next one mama loves you too she thinks i made the right selection now all that's left to do is just for me to put the quest some memory right <laughs> such a clean and crisp and and simple simple song right and i think that's the reason it's so successful yeah the simplistic nature of the song oh yeah and if you listen to it closely jaron there's a lot of moments throughout this version of the song yeah where the music or the instrumentation is just allowed to breathe right yes without any vocals over it no clutter yeah no clutter and Jared, about the simplicity of the beat the trumpet stuck out yeah the most but that other sound the congo yeah and like sounds that you might not think fit together fit together yeah and it just brings out like you said in the beginning a sound that sort of seems primed for the world to hear yeah and omi's incredibly <sighs> unique voice oh my goodness so, man this this song will put a smile on anybody's face yeah you know a song's a hit as soon as you hear it 
Mm. And it makes me wonder what Omi's original sounded like, because if this was the one that took off, there was something about this. Yeah. Whether it was like they said, the, the addition of the, uh, tropical flavored deep house rendition mm. prominently featuring a trumpet, a conga beat and a piano, you know, it's just making small little minor changes that can either uh, determine if a song doesn't reach the masses or becomes a uh, number one hit in 20 yeah. countries. Now is the original available on YouTube? Cause we can listen to a snippet. Before we jump into pentatonics, now. I think it is. We probably should have listened to that first. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check a little bit of that out. Okay. Stay tuned, everybody. We know uh, we tend to make these reaction videos a bit longer, but pentatonics is coming. When I need motivation, ah. my one solution is my queen, cause she stays strong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She is always in my corner, right ah. there when I wanna. All these other girls are tempting, but I'm empty when you're gone and they say, Do you need me? Ooh. Do you think I'm pretty? Do I make you feel like cheating? I'm like, no, not really, cause oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there. sounded completely different yeah. the lyrics were exactly the same yeah but the beat was completely different and it gave a completely different feel yeah what'd you feel i mean i felt like this one was a bit more produced mm. in a synthetic way ah right we heard a, a consistent bass throughout yep. the entire song yep and it wasn't a natural tapping of a conga. Yeah. Right? A bass that is produced by an engineer or by a producer in the studio. Mm. Um, and then a lot of other sounds that sounded like you would hit a keyboard and it would produce a synthetic mm. sound. They still had the trumpet. Yeah. But that is so, so interesting. We'd never heard this version before. No. no. Um, and... After hearing it, you can clearly tell 
why the remix took off the way it did. Yeah. Because it, and it makes me think like how many other songs out there just need little tweaks and they could be massive hits. Oh so my somebody gosh. heard this, Jordan. Yeah. Somebody had the ear. Did they tell us who had that ear? So did the original version actually receive success in Jamaica? Yeah, it says, look, the song saw success in Jamaica where it topped the charts. And they're talking about the original version. The original. And then right here it says, Ultra contacted two disc jockeys to produce remixed versions of the original. Yeah. And then the label and song's producer preferred one over the other. And that ended up being the, uh, the one. Again, you're that tropical... Yeah. Deep House rendition, prominently featuring a trumpet, a conga beat, and piano. Wow. Just tweaks, man. Oh, tweaks, Jordan. And I assume that Pentatonix is going to cover the remixed version. <laughs> I have no idea, Jordan. What we hear from Pentatonix may be mm. the biggest tweak of all. Mm. I am hoping, selfishly, that will get Mitch slapped. Oh, you want to be Mitch slapped? I want to be Mitch slapped. I know Omi didn't necessarily go crazy high with his vocals. Yeah. But I'm ready for a Mitch slap, Jordan. It's about damn time. <laughs> well, Jared, listen, I'll be ready for a Mitch slap, but I'm more prepared to be KO'd. Ah. Because uh, that Congo beat yeah. and yeah. the trumpet sound. Oh, who's, who's going to make that? that? There you go. Yeah. It's time to find out. Let's go. All right, everybody. This is Pentatonic's cheerleader, their cover of Omi's song or upgrade, quite possibly. Yeah. Sit back and enjoy, everybody. Here we go. Mitch, Mitch, when I need no motivation, my one solution is my queen because she stays strong. Yeah, yeah, she is always in my corner right there. When I want her, all these other girls are tempting, but I'm empty when you're gone. And they say, Do you need me? Do you think I'm pretty? Do I make you feel like she? Not really cause Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader She's always right there when I need her Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader She's always right there when I need her Oh, Ooh. if she walks like a model She grants my wishes like a genie in the bottle Say, yeah, yeah Themselves. Oh, loop right there. <laughs> that Mitch? I think so. Oh my god. Come on. 
What are your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts here about this ending, Jordan, are that Mitch brought his hand this close to my face mm. and he stopped from slapping me. <laughs> Just okay. his little humming. Something happened. He he pulled back. Yeah. He stopped yeah. from slapping me. You were fully prepared I to get was slapped. Ready. I mean, this ending what a beautiful ending. <sighs> they brought it all the way back down. I mean, come on. Yeah. My favorite part of this song uh, was when it felt like it got stuck on loop. Really? Right? Yeah. That was your favorite? Favorite because it was so unique. You hear Mitch s repeating the same line in the background. You hear Kirsten repeating her line. You yeah. hear Scott doing his thing. You hear the breakdown of the, the bass and the, the beatboxing by Kevin. Mm -hmm. I, I, again, Jordan, overwhelming. Right, because there's so much going on and you want to hear everything. Right. Right. If I had a button to single out ah. every sound, I would press that and listen to this song five different times. That's a great point. Yeah. That is a great point. Who did you find yourself gravitating towards the most? I know you went in thinking like, okay, I'm hoping Mitch will slap me. And Mitch caught us right from the beginning. Yeah. His voice. Who caught you the most? Who caught me or who who was I paying attention to or hearing the most? Who were you paying attention to? Who I'd did you have, find yourself paying attention to? Yeah, I'd have to say Scott, only because ah. he he sang twice, I believe. Okay. Two different parts. Yeah. Um, the person who I feel like just sits in the background the entire time and maybe gets the least amount of credit but is doing the most Yeah. is Avi. Really? Mm. That subtle bass that holds everything together. What are your thoughts, John? Yeah, man. No, I think you broke it down very, very well. I, I took a few notes here. You say your favorite part was when it was stuck on loop. Yeah. My favorite part, hands down, was when they gave us a breakdown. Ooh, just the, just Avi and, and Kevin. No, oh. they, they were breaking it down. Everybody broke it down. Which part? For a quick couple seconds. Let me play that for you, Jared. Yeah. You didn't hear that in the original song right here. Well, she walks like a model. Oh, she grins my way. She's like a genie in the bottle. Say, and then they went right back. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Favorite part, hands down. Yeah, yeah. Let's listen to your part. Oh, that sound is crazy. Yeah. Loop. Yeah, just loop it. Here we go, Mitch. Kirsten, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what? Ah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> this was a remix in itself. Yes. Right. They didn't follow the normal, even the, the normal pattern that the remix song followed. Yeah. They didn't follow that. They did their own thing. They changed up the flows, changed up the tempos within the song itself. Yes. That's what I appreciated most. Oh yeah. This was a treat, everybody. And dare I ask, have they performed this live? Oh, you know they probably have. Yeah? We can search around. Yes, please. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right, search that up for me. All right, so we found a live performance uh, of them performing Cheerleader live on iHeartRadio in 2015. Okay. So let's check it out. One, two, three. Oh. That's Mitch. Yeah, yeah. She's always in my corner right there. When I want her, all these other girls are tempting, but I'm empty when you're gone. They say, Do you need me? Do you think I'm pretty? Do you make you feel like she can? I'm like, No, not really, cause oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She's always right Cheerleader, she is always right there when I need her. Uh, 
Sorry, oh, Scott. Ah. Is that your part? That's my part right here. Oh, my goodness. Avi, George. Hey, Avi flies under the radar the entire performance. Yes, sir. This entire song. Yeah. He's holding it together. Yeah. But he flies under the radar. Oh, yeah. Jordan, uh, tell me if I'm wrong when I say this, but to the non-pentaholic or somebody who comes across pentatonics for the very first time, mm -hmm. right? And they, maybe this is their very first exposure to pentatonics. This live iHeartRadio performance of Cheerleader. In person or on YouTube? Either. Okay. Do you think they would wonder whether or not Pentatonix is improvising? Improvising? Yeah. Like, like they got up there and they're just vibing, ah. right? Cheerleader is the song and each of them are just vibing. Oh. Um... If they're brand new to Pentatonix? Yeah. That's a good question. I it, it could sound like that at times. But I think the depth of what they do, yeah, you can hear that it takes practice and preparation because they each have a role. Yes. And it's confirmed. All the layers and, and the work that they put in is confirmed when you listen to multiple versions of the same song. Mm-hmm. And right. the fact that they can do it live, Jerk. Exactly. You're it's like, incredible. oh, they did the exact same thing yeah. that they did in the music video. Exactly. However, given that this is so good and so detailed and feels somewhat spontaneous, mm. I, I can see how some people can ask, whoa, did they just improvise this entire thing? Yeah. But I don't know. No, I mean, that's a good point. I mean, Jared, even to me at certain points, during the live version yeah i was like wait i didn't hear that in the recorded version uh, so i think live performances bring out everything so much more you can uh, hear what's really going on that's why they tell us to watch the live performances wow yeah this was this was incredible and um the way that kevin puts a an end to the beat yes like that's incredible we have to hear that real quick watch what uh, Kevin does with his his voice. Like it stops. It's like yeah, yeah. I'm not even gonna try to make this up. <laughs> and then, oh my goodness, I could go on for days, Jared. That breakdown, I could listen to that for a hundred hours straight. <laughs> 
if that was the song, the yeah. breakdown. Well, why don't we listen to it one more time? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I think that I've found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her. Oh, well, she walks like a model. She grins her wishes like a genie in a bottle. Say, yeah, yeah, I'm a wizard of love. I live for any breakdown in a song. <laughs> Anyway, what else you got, Jared? Anything else? No, that is it, Jared. All right. We made it. And yeah, we made it, man. Mitch spared us today, <laughs> but, you know, Kevin, unfortunately, got the knockout. Yeah, he got the knockout. All of them, man. So creative. Yeah. So well put together and uh, a masterful rendition. What's next? That is a very good question. Uh, and a question that's for the people okay so let us know what's next everybody we understand that we received many different requests from you all already and we're going through those many people want to see the prayer many people want to see sound of silence gold gold i mean it's endless but if you haven't already let us know you can let us know in the comments down below what do you want to see us react to next from pentatonics we hope all of you out there enjoyed today's video if you did Leave a like. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on those notifications. But most importantly, be kind and keep an open mind, everybody. Peace. Well, she walks like a model. She grants my wishes like a genie in the bottle. Say,